Agam, as I said, will join in first to bring us an update on how Titan fared in the third quarter. And Adani Ports will acquire 75% stake in the Krishna Pattam port. Swamin Sarkar gets us the contours of that deal. Amphi has reclassified stocks based on their market capitalizations. Darshan Mehta will join us with the list of changes. And the tide may be turning for steelmakers. Nikki Mirjindani will tell us what's changed. The jewellery segment remains the saving grace for Titan amongst the economic slowdown. Amidst the economic slowdown, that is, sales of ornaments picked up in the festive and the wedding season, even as demand for watches and eyewear remain muted. Agam Wickley standing by with the highlights of Titan's quarter three update. Agam, uh, the street was going into this believing that Titan will come out with a yeah. howler of an update. Yeah. Is it as bad or is there a silver lining? Uh, no, it's certainly not bad at all. And uh, we do know that the management has drastically cut their guidance for the second half of the financial year for the jewelry sales. And it's line in line with uh, your expectations. So let me start off with your overall uh, your, you know, revenues and what the management has to say. So they are again saying that there has been a weak sentiment across. Uh, there have been lower walk-ins and a lot of their stores. And well, partially nationwide protests have impacted uh, some of their businesses. But let's talk about the jewelry segment. Everyone is going to be talking about that. Why? Because your 80% of the revenues come from the jewelry segment. So the management says that the retail sales have been up as much as 15%, but uh, overall sales are at around 11%. Why? Because there has been a, there was a very one large, very uh, institutional order. Uh, if you leave that aside, overall growth stands at 11%, which is in line with your guided range of around 11 to 13%. Uh, they are saying that you do have the likes of uh, you know some, some of your launches in the particular quarter, something like a Virasat collection has done well. Uh, of course, it is essentially the wedding and the festive season that has aided growth. And well, um, at least uh, considering that they have not been below the guided mark, that's always a positive. Total Tanish stores added at 34, and that target, they're well on target to add 50 stores this year. Moving on to watches. Uh, watches are something that has had been doing very, very well over the past third, three, two to three quarters, but that's where sales have remained flat. And, uh, and But this is against the industry, which has actually seen a decline of around 4%, according to the management. So again, there's been a little bit of not performance, but you know, not necessarily the best of quarters for Titan is watches, which contributes about 17% to revenues. Again, this is where we're seeing poor consumer sentiment hurt sales. And uh, the poor sentiment is seen not only in traditional channels, but the e-commerce channels as well, which has actually been spurring growth in the pre previous few quarters. From there on, we move on to the eyewear segment as well. And this is not a very large segment in terms of contribution, less than 2% to overall revenues. There is heavy competitive activity. There has been disruption in trade channels over uh, but um, this also comes on the back of uh, you know anywhere between 20 to 30 percent growth. So considering that it has been slackness in consumer sentiment, well, this is quite uh, normal for Titan. I guess the positive here is that Titan has held on to its guided range of 11 percent. That is double digit. And well, these nowadays, any consumer discretionary company coming on double digits growth is considered to be, well, uh, premium at this point in time. So, well, that perhaps is the big positive here. Shorts in the system, and you think that maybe they could get covered? Yes, definitely. There were shorts in the system. In fact, we saw that on Thursday and Friday as well. Whether or not that get, gets covered, well, that's anyone's guess. But sure, yeah. uh, we, we will certainly see uh, at least some amount of recovery, if not today, tomorrow, then perhaps when the risk of sentiment gets. In, you know, done dusted with.